Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Vivisector Beast Within. This is episode 11, and the previous episode was a pretty rough one because not only did we have some nasty sections, but I had a whole part where I had to go back to one of the beacons because I didn't step on it good enough. <laughs> and we couldn't progress until we went and activated them in sequence. But hopefully we can get out of these goddamn mines in this episode. We at least got some easier enemies in the form of these cheetah men or tiger men, whatever they're supposed to be. I believe they are called tigers with a Y in the manual. We also had that one bizarre section where we had to run around with a gas mask on for about 30 seconds while getting stabbed by sharp objects. <laughs> See, I think sometimes I just get lucky and I hit their fleshy bits instead of their armor, so it feels like the weapon is more effective than it actually is. Oh, we got an exploration bonus for coming up here. Uh, there's another one probably for... Right, this game has fall damage. <laughs> but not as bad as Half-Life. Okay, exploration bonus for that. I don't even know what we're going to buy next with points. Alright, I fell, but... Only a little bit. Uh, there's an enemy over there somewhere. I think he might be stuck, though. Okay, our next beacon is back here. Hello? I think the knife still kills... Oh, we've got another spinner. Oh, he stopped. <laughs> Just rolling away. I was gonna say, I think the knife kills him in two hits still. Uh, excuse me? We have three beacons now? One hit to disarm them. And one to kill them. Or you just take the top of their skull off. Just a little bit off the top. Okay, so I think we just need to touch one of these beacons, or we need to jump across them in sequence. Yeah, okay, those two activated together. I guess we'll just let this thing take us where it's going. There's another beacon on the other side that we still have to activate, but I think this will pass it. Not sure why he jumped down. our stop. I don't know, like, this gun, the effectiveness of this weapon seems very random to me. Sometimes it's like, it seems really good, and sometimes I have to hit them like seven times. At the very least, I think the damage on this mostly ignores their armor. Like, it just does splash damage instead. The arm in the cab opens the transport gate. Activate it and get down here. I've blocked the door leading to the control panel so the wolves can't get to me. Go through the metal rolling line to get to the trolley. Sorry, it's the only way. Hurry up before they break the door down. I'll wait here. Thanks for helping me out, random miner who probably doesn't know who I am. 
Also, did you see a part of the subtitles where it said, The Wolves, The Wolves? Um. Okay, I thought we were actually gonna, gonna go, but I think we have to jump out? None of these other buttons do anything. I don't think this actually works. I think we have to walk. <laughs> yeah, we have to walk back. Uh, he seems to have slipped between the gaps. Yeah, he was consumed by the wall, that guy. What exactly are they making here? Beacon is over there. However, this door does not seem to function, so I think we need to get to the other side. Wow. What a good ladder. <laughs> you know, I could probably cheese this using the power of slipping and slip through this tiny gap. Except I don't know how to do it on purpose. It just sort of happens sometimes. So let's figure out what it wants me to actually do. Like, it would seem like we, we want to go up here, right? Maybe I have to walk across? Oh, that's an invisible wall. The obvious would be to jump here, but I don't think I can make that jump. I think it's a little too far. Or there's an invisible wall preventing me. Yeah, that seems like a, a no. I'm not seeing anywhere else I can go. Maybe I go a little farther? I mean, there's a health kit here, so maybe this is where it wants me to go. Okay, this is the way out. We just have to not get stamped. The guy who helped us died. That sucks for him. So yeah, the miners in that part were real random. We saw like, what, four of them alive? Actually, I guess those weren't the miners, those were the steel workers who look a lot like miners. I know more had worked here on some special project. My new warriors will soon be here, and I'll have access to it. Then I'll find Moorhead and reestablish the order on the island. I don't know what he's making, but I want it. So I guess we are still heading towards a potential confrontation with Moorhead. Is there anything in this crate? Uh, looks like M16 ammo. Double shotgun. M16 bullets. that you can't do damage with physics objects in this game. Because 
because I would love to just knock these guys the fuck out <laughs> by shotgunning a barrel into them with maximum force. That seems to apply to us too, though. We don't take damage from physics objects flying around. did. Thought that would, like, raise this platform? There must be a door over here. Not that one. Oh. Okay. Killing that guy unlocked the door. Welcome to the high-tech science labs, where we have science cubes stacked on top of each other. Slowly oozing down here. <gasps> Nothing over there. Fine. I'll pick up the barrel and then I'll stand on the barrel. <laughs> he was very insistent about that. Wait, really? You're not gonna let me stand on these? That looks like a very much a uh, climb up here. Oh. Or there's just a ladder. Assassin kill! Oh, these are... I don't know what these are. More soldiers, I guess, but they're weird looking. They're like Brotherhood initiates. Okay, that doesn't open. Actually friendly to me, physician. I like that it's just like a big thing stamped on his chest. I think this is the first time we've run into like actual friendly soldiers that weren't in a cutscene. Oh, what a pleasure to see a human face! You fit the professor's description. He said you'd come. I need your help. Follow me. All right. I guess these are like the science team. Don't worry, I got this. It's the psychopath with a fucking scalpel. Did you know I found this scalpel in Dr. Moorhead's old laboratory? Isn't that cool? Aren't you guys, like, super into that? They're here because of that thing. Two years of work. The professor was proud the of Panther. Smart, but not perfect. It's a shame she has to be destroyed. She shouldn't be turned over to the humans. They're too weak to keep her. Uh, what is that? I just see a truck. Is she in the truck? Or is that a vehicle? Also, are you not human, then? Were you grown in a tank? Oh man, he's got a ladder climbing animation. Revolutionary. Also, he just called himself human earlier when he's like, Oh, glad to see another human face. So I call bullshit on his platform not being be human claims. I'll open the gates below. Go, bring it here. So I'm not sure if this is like... A vehicle? <laughs> or there's just like a body in here.
Okay, well, our beacon is on the other side of the door. <clears throat> Danger, dead end. What did you want me to do? Why are these the only three messages that I have in my... Platform has to be brought here first. I'll open the gates below. Go and bring it. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> this thing? Am I supposed to... Activate it? I don't really see anything I can do here. Oh. Okay, there's a big flash panel on the other side. Bring this thing over. Now, I'll open the biochamber gates. Activate the panther container. It'll move here by itself to the platform. Uh. All right. <laughs> Just says go back up here. the panther? I guess it is. This is the thing we were looking at through the portholes. So I guess there's a body or a creature in there, which I'm gonna guess is a human animal woman hybrid thing. Since that would fit with the original story. Maybe she only turns into a panther at night and consumes men. Uh, can speed this thing up at all, can you? I don't know if it's supposed to be dramatic. <laughs> kind of feels like, yeah, we need to fight things on the way. He did not even turn around for a second. Ah, uh, was hoping the body would explode. Something else that uses M4 ammo or M16 ammo. So we haven't got like a replacement for this yet. Okay, lowering it now. <laughs> Go upstairs to the generator while I attach the container to the platform. That at least seems pretty straightforward. Come on, these tight corridors, I have the big advantage here because I have the murder stab weapon. It continues to be funny to me how effective the knife is in this game. I mean, it's not quite like... Ah, oh, jeez, what was the game called? Rogue Warrior levels of deadly, because we don't have a QTE that activates every time we press a button, but... It's still pretty deadly. Uh oh Okay. For a second, I thought they were actually going to fight me smart and stay on that middle platform. 
But if they are just gonna stand there, then, you know, I am gonna... Just huck grenades at them. Yes, thank you for delivering the bodies to me. Uh, okay. It's all ready. Now, the most exciting part. Turn on the generator. I don't think this guy's capable of being excited based on his voice. Now for the most exciting part. Turn on the generator. This'll be great. The casket is open. The panther is free. Meanwhile, Kurt just stands at the top, completely motionless. So do we have to fight this thing now? That we were trying to save? Oh, it's invisible. Okay. Uh, I can't move. So yeah, it just, like, ran up and stuck a thing on me. So I can't let that happen. Too late. I don't know how I stopped that. I can't even see it. so cheap that it has an invisible insta-kill. <laughs> I don't know if I should just run away from it or try to kill it. I'm just going to try running for the checkpoint. I don't think I'm supposed to fight this. Oh, you were that close. Failed again. You're a loser, Kurt. A real loser. And also a dangerous man. Everyone you meet dies. That's just wrong. You should feel real guilty right about <laughs> now. I want you to feel bad, Kurt. Oh. If you joined me, you'd never have to feel bad. Ow. The fuck? It's another soldier man. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna run into that thing again. Later. Hello? <laughs> This man seems to have fallen out of phase with reality. Uh, plasma? Well, we got our new Tesla weapon. Is it really our problem, though, if the panther gets out? Alright, that's pretty effective. <laughs> Vaporized him. I 
what this is, but it has a rocket launcher. It's like some kind of vague lizard man thing. What's that sound? Oh, uh... Is this how the animal people are built? They just like assemble a skeleton before they put anything on it? You see, Kurt, I just want peace for this land. Scientists should cooperate with me without needing so much persuasion. The only thing Moorhead is right about is that it's harder to work with humans. I'm glad I can pick up the stool. What did that do? Which developer's girlfriend is that, you think? Alright. Well, now that we dealt with that whole panther situation for the moment, I think this is a good place to end it. Can I grab these hooks? No, I gotta walk like a man. But yeah, we made some progress this time. And we saw a new creature. I guess we saw multiple new creatures because we also saw whoever had that rocket launcher. But I feel like we are making progress now. We're getting closer to meeting Dr. Moorhead in person. So, until next time, thank you for joining me for more Vivisector, and our journey continues next time. Until then, y'all take care. <laughs>